Hello, this is Rich with MesoBIM. This tutorial topic is printing. This course is considered beginner level. In this topic, you will learn how to print to a plotter, printing to PDF, exporting to CAD, and exporting to image formats. Printing is the process of outputting views and sheets on paper or to an electronic file format. To print views or sheets, click on the Revit icon in the top left corner of the screen and select Print. In the print dialog, select the desired plotter and configure it by clicking on properties. Next, under print range, specify what to print. Current window, visible portion of current window, or selected views or sheets. If the desired option is View Sheets, click Select and choose the Views and Sheets to print, then click OK. Here, Sheet A101 and A102 are already selected, so we'll hit OK. Other important settings on the Print dialog box include File for combining multiple views or sheets into a single file, or you create separate files from each view or sheet. Under Options, you can control the number of copies the print order that you want to copy, and also collating settings. And finally, under Setup is where you, you modify the print settings, which include the paper size, placement, zoom settings, etc. When ready to print, ensure plotter is connected and on, and then click OK. Printing and exporting views or sheets to an electronic form file format like PDF makes it easy to share construction documents with others for online viewing and printing. When printing selected views and sheets to a file, Revit creates one file per view or sheet. If the intention is to create a single file that contains all selected views and sheets, printing to PDF is the recommended option. To print to PDF, click on the print button under the Revit icon again, and in the print dialog select a PDF print driver which we have here. If the drop-down list does not include a PDF print driver, it will be necessary to install a PDF driver or a viewer, which usually does come with a, a printer driver. Next, click Properties, which defines settings for the PDF print driver as desired in the Properties dialog, and click OK. Here, our settings are already set correctly, so we'll hit OK. To print the entire sheet or view in the drawing area under Print Range, select Current Window. Or select Visible Portion of Current Window to print the part of the view or sheet that currently displays in the drawing area. You name and set a target location for the resulting PDF file under File Name, which you can find here. To print multiple views or sheets, under Print Range, select Selected Views and Sheets, select the Views and Sheets to print to PDF, and then click OK. This is what we did earlier. We have A101 and A102. We'll hit OK. The radio buttons under File are used to instruct Revit to print to a single file or create multiple files corresponding to the View Sheets to be printed. So here, we can combine all of our views into one single file or if we wanted two separate files, in this case because we have A101 and A102, we can select Create Separate Files. Finally, access Setup to change print settings and click OK when ready to print. So here we have our paper size and our placement, but then under here, please note that it is necessary to use the option Zoom 100% instead of Fit to Page in the Print Settings dialog to achieve an exact scale on paper. Revit supports exporting to the following CAD formats, DWG, DXF, SAT, and DGN. Before ex exporting a Revit model for use in another software application, it be may be necessary to reduce the amount of model geometry to be exported. Typical view in Revit contains many objects and a lot of data. By eliminating the redundant parts of the geometry that is exported, we can improve the import performance of the export process, reduce the size of the exported file, 
and improve, improve performance of the importing application and reduce clutter in the exported file. Exporting files in Revit is view-based, hence we can declutter files by using the visibility graphics window to turn off unwanted categories. We can also use a section box or crop region to edit the view. Finally, we can also specify the detail level, fine, medium, or coarse, that we want with a view to reduce redundant elements in the exported file. So for example here in our exported file if we do not want to show furniture we can uncheck the box there and the furniture will not be in our exported file. Again with a detail level if we change this from medium to coarse the views will change in terms of the amount of information that is included in the final product. To export view sheets to a DWG or DXF file format, click on the Revit icon in the top left corner of the screen, select Export, CAD formats, and either DWG or DXF. Here we'll select DWG. For a single view sheet at export, select Current View Sheet Only. And for multiple user sheets at export, select in session view sheet set and then select the views and sheets you'd like to export. In this option in the show and list there's a few different filter options so for example if you only wanted to export sheets in the model you can go to that and it will only list the sheets. If you wanted to export only the views it'll go to all the views that are in your Revit file. So for here, we'll have sheets A101 and A102 selected, and then we'll hit Next. From here, in the Export CAD formats, we can name the, the file prefix, the type of AutoCAD file that we are going to export to, and then if we would like the views on your sheets to be ex external references, we can check this box right here. Once everything is set, then we can click OK. Revit exports the selected views and sheets as required. In exporting a view to an image format, Revit prints the view directly to a raster image file. The image can then be used for online presentations or in printed materials. To export a view to an image, click on the Revit icon again at the top left corner, select Export, then Images in it, Animations, and then image. In the export image dialog, change the default path and file name for the image to where you would like to save the file. Choose current window, visible portion of current window, or selected views and sheets. Next, under image size, specify image display properties like size, orientation, zoom level, and number of pixels. Under Options, select the desired print options of what is to be visible alongside the image, and then select an output format for shaded views and non-shaded views under Format. If you specified a zoom 2 percentage for image size, select a DPI or dots per inch value for rastered image quality. The options for this are 72, 150, 300, and 600. When done, click OK. The selected sheets or views are exported as images in the specified file and file format. Revit can export to a number of image formats, including JPEG, PNG, TIFF, and Targa. That concludes our beginner course on printing. Thanks for watching.